Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lenz hier. This is Vlog Dave and that is Jessalyn. And today we're talking about habits that I've picked up in Germany since mm. living here. As a Canadian. As a Canadian. Canadian. Yes. Oh, I'm bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. First habit is uh, no small talk. No smell talk. Small talk. <laughs> no <Sorry>. smelly talking. <laughs> Clean mouths only. Mm. Um, yeah. No small talk. Uh, I've found here that, yeah, Germans don't seem to be really big into small talk. And so small talk, like, like you're not going to sit there with a stranger and discuss the weather, and you can sit in silence and no one minds. Like, no one's trying to fill the silence with just nonsense or nothingness. Oh, you've never met my dad. Oh, well, okay. He's <laughs> constantly talking, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> no, well, usually you're... not small talk. You are usually great, <laughs> I, I would say. Mm. Dave, small talk is something, I mean, We like to, and especially with friends, engage more in deep talks, mm -hmm. more interesting uh, philosophical ones, even or scientific discussions, mm -hmm. rather than, hey, the weather, wow, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Mm, mm, okay. Funny. Yeah. Those are both closed off those roads. That's great. Yeah. I find that nice though. Like I've, I've, what you mean? Like I've had discussions with friends here. We'll, we'll get into say like the history between about certain laws, or we'll talk about. The geological earth history or something like that yeah. evolution and politics and that's i find a lot more interesting and in canada that's uh, not the case so it's more i mean more small you, you can have those conversations I've, like with my best friend for example we'll have certain conversations about just theories of planets and life but or like random physics conversations but mm. aside from that usually yeah i mean of course we'll all have conversations about like reminiscing about funny times i think everyone does that mm. But it's more, not with friends, because with friends it's not really considered small talk, you're so comfortable, you're just chatting. It's with strangers though, like when you're with strangers you feel obligated to ask them questions like, oh, so where do you come from, and what's your favorite, <laughs> or whatever, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like stuff that no one really, they're not really listening, they'll just ask you a question just to fill the silence, and then they just daydream until you finish talking, because otherwise it just seems so uncomfortable when no one's talking, it's that awkward silence. Mm. So, But I find actually now after being in Germany that it's more comfortable and in fact I prefer it to having to talk about nothing. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean I'm German so I agree. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I do agree. <laughs> yes. Uh, another thing that I've picked up since coming to Germany is going, mmm. Mm. And so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the region that I live in in Germany is also in northern Germany. Mm. Norddeutschland. <laughs> Im Norden. And uh, yeah, they're also it's also like the northeastern parts, so they're even quieter. Uh, well, at least I find they're even quieter than, say, compared to Hamburg, like where I am, it's further east. Mm. And a lot of stuff, for, for me, it's become a thing now if I hear someone go, mm, it's more like a, an affirmation that they've heard what you're saying or that, yeah. they, that they're just like listening or even agree. It just has multiple meanings, but you can tell from the context. Mm. But, <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm. yeah. But I, I didn't even notice I was doing that until my mom was visiting me once with my sister. And I kept doing that when she was talking, I was going, mm. And she thought I was annoyed with her. She's like, Jess, why are you, you mad at me? Like, why do you keep, are you, what's going on with you? Why do you go, mm? I'm like, it is, I'm, I'm being polite. Like, I thought yeah, I was I got nice. Germanized. <laughs> oh no. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you got Germanized, yes. Um, so yeah, that's something that I've picked up. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I, do. <laughs> I wouldn't even notice it. Yeah. Now yeah. I do. I will, yeah. I will every time now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, uh, Grammatically speaking, it's like a particle of sorts, like yeah. a, and particle. an interjection particle, basically. Yeah, it's just, it's just yeah, a comfortable thing, but it's just normal, yeah. do you know. <laughs> uh, the other thing I have is now that I've, because of this culture that I've been living in, is I've become suspicious of super overly friendly chatter. Ah, yes, yes. Because it used to be, like, in Canada we are typically, like, quite approachable. Uh, like, if you go up to someone on the street and you... You, you, you can just approach someone and talk to them and it'll be really friendly. Uh, so you could just walk up to someone and say, hey, you know, I'm not from the area, what do you think of this, what do you think of that? And in Canada, they'll actually stop what they're doing and turn and talk to you and like engage in the conversation. Hmm. Whereas here, it almost feels suspicious. If someone starts talking to me, I start thinking, what do you want from me? What are you trying to sell me? Like I, I immediately yeah. be like, hmm, get away from me. Do you want money? What do you want my money? I don't yeah, have any yeah. money. <laughs> like, Good luck with that, I'm a broke student. F off, <laughs> F off you scammer. <laughs> Team I know. Yeah, it's like I got nothing for them. Mind your own business. Yeah. That is, yeah, something definitely, uh, I would say as well, because if you're overly friendly, many Germans would see that as being fake. Mm. 
mm. I suppose, especially if they don't know the person, if someone is just hi <laughs> all the time. Yeah. I don't know, I guess it, it comes off as a bit fake. Maybe that's just me though. Maybe Germans who watch this video can, well, elaborate on that in the comments, what they think about that. But uh, for me, it's definitely a little bit fake-ish seeming. And I wonder if it's maybe because that whole preference or that aversion to small talk, so that oh, when yeah. someone comes at you chattering about nothing, you automatically are suspicious because this is not what we do here. I suppose we don't so. do that here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be my guess at least. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. um, next part that I have is the eye contact with, uh, I say cheersing, so when you go post or scal, scal yeah. like we will say, like, yeah, like the eye contact thing. It's become so normal now that when we when you order your beers in the pub, they're bringing your beer and you don't actually, like, for the first round, no one actually takes a sip until everyone's gotten it, has received their beer. And then when you do, you have your, your, your cheers, like you clink glasses and you look each other in the eyes. And yes. that used to freak me out a little bit. I, <laughs> Cause this direct eye contact is a little too much for me. But now it's become just standard. You don't really think about eye contact, look, 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 clink the glasses and carry on. <laughs> yeah, because of this German myth of uh, that is being uh, or that being bad luck if you don't do it and mm. having bad sex for seven years <laughs> and who wants that really <laughs> that's i mean everyone takes it seriously apparently because i've yet to have a, a situation where i've got or i've received a beer somewhere and we and no one makes eye contact so i guess they're all really worried about it <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah do you actually know where that like clicking glasses thing comes from i, I do i do from, yes. i don't know if it's like specifically german but yeah really i think it comes from it. hungary if I if I I'm if hungry. I recall correctly, oh. <laughs> I think if I recall correctly, I read, I read it a while ago, so it could be a little uh, incorrect now. I think it was something to do in Hungary. It was before some sort of battle, and they would uh, they clinked glasses. Actually, it's there. It's bad luck. Sorry, I'm mixing it up. It was bad luck in Hungary to clink glasses because I guess there were some leaders that did that before they had a battle, mm -hmm. and they clinked their glasses, and the next day they lost. And in so there, it's, they don't do that. Interesting. I heard a story that goes something like this. Well, uh, back in the olden days, they would do this clinking of glasses to make the liquid in one glass spill over to the next one so that they show, oh, this is not poisoned. We can drink this, both of us. I think it's ancient yeah. Rome, right? Might be. I think it's interesting uh, how many how many customs we have are just to prove that I'm not trying to kill you. Yeah. Like I, like with like right handedness and like where we say are on the roads. Like, oh, make sure you know I don't have a sword in my hand. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to stab you on the way by. Or <laughs> 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 no I, trust. I know that as something from medieval times actually. That's mm. middle time. So yeah, mm. it might be actually like partially a German thing. So I don't mm. know. Killing. Uh, that probably. I, I think yeah, that's cross cultural. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. Probably. Yeah. Pretty, right ubiqui now. pretty ubiquitous. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What's the story you heard? Uh, you hear pretty much like uh, what, what he said. Uh, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. That would be. It would be. I would be curious to actually know what the if that's the the whole story behind it. Or maybe we all have like partial truth, and the, the truth is somewhere in the middle. <laughs> what What do you say actually when you clink glasses in uh, Canada? Well, because I I know that the German post mm -hmm. uh, has also found its way to like other countries and stuff. Uh, if we say something, it's usually cheers. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. Cheers, mate. Although, actually, where, I'm, where I live in Germany, they, they do say Prost, but they also say Skal. Skal. Uh, and that's, I think, from the Nordic countries. Like, I, they say that in Germany? Swedish, I think, yeah, right? yeah. They, they say it, well, because where I live used to belong to Sweden. Oh. So that's actually, used to be Swedish territory. Former cool. colony. <laughs> yes, the former colony of the Swedes. I never knew that they had colonies in Germany. Yeah, the whole uh, northeastern portion belonged to Sweden. Actually, the university I go to is the oldest Swedish university. Well, my channel is not called Get Swedenized. So, <laughs> so never mind that. Never mind history in that part. <laughs> yes. So that's uh, one thing. And as well as I've become more uh, aware of the rules and I adhere to them. Oh. For example, I don't jaywalk here. Oh. Yeah. It's in Canada. You'll jaywalk because I don't have. I don't freaking have the time. <laughs> <laughs> to get down to the crosswalk because Jesus there's like several kilometers I gotta go and I don't have time to start waiting for cars then oh, okay and then wander down there and it's hot and nah, I'm not about that so uh, but in Germany I actually I think maybe the reason why I adhere to the rules is because I've been given too much shit or trouble from old people nah. don't like me breaking them they give you like the dirty looks or they like yell something at you and I don't like I don't like the pressure yeah. <laughs> of getting in trouble. The old people pressure. <laughs> old people You're pressure. supposed to be a role model for the kids. Yeah, apparently. The German ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, the alte Leute Druck. Yeah. Oh, by the way, maybe you have noticed that like 
red traffic lights at night when you like go home from a party mm -hmm. and sometimes you know it might be a cliche of sorts but sometimes germans still stand there and wait until it goes green and then, mm. then they can cross the street and uh but sometimes you know maybe that is different in canada and people don't give a shit and just go <laughs> mm, it, it it depends i mean where we will wait is that actual marked crosswalks like the blinking lights because then Typically, if everyone's doing what they're supposed to do, you won't get hit by a car. Mm, makes uh, sense. <laughs> yes. Uh, they don't really enforce the jaywalking laws in Canada. They do exist. We just don't, no one really cares enough. Mm. Um, but I actually will still wait at lights here. Like, I'll, I'll still wait. If the light is red, I wait because I just assume that when I go in traffic, either on foot or driving, I assume I'm more defensive. I assume that everybody's going to be stupid. And so I try my best to just survive and That's follow the rules. That's a good assumption to make just everywhere, that generally. You just assume that they're going to be dumb and survive that way just be aware yeah. um, but I have seen it more and more often especially where I live people are so unbelievably impatient they run reds constantly and they cross all the time yeah. over the lights I mean when I went to university in Paderborn which is a town in North Rhine-Westphalia mm -hmm. a quite big one uh, people didn't care either so mm -hmm. you know this is and sometimes you know I think uh, I find that to be to have more in big cities yeah. Than mm -hmm. in villages, but Definitely Berlin as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't care there. No. I think they can tell I'm not from there because I actually will stand away at the light and they're already long gone. Like, oh, I'm waiting. Yeah. They but laugh at you. Before you some actually... old lady's going to come and get mad at me and I'm not, like, I'm not ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> before you get to the next point, by the way, yes. uh, you can also do something that people could associate with being German. You uh, tick what you have just said and, you know, go through your list that way. Mm. Like, because I think might also be like a quite a German thing. When, lists? Yeah, when you have like a list like that, a written mm. list, and you are talking about each topic. Uh, you go through your list. Chronologically, yeah. and then you go through your list, and when you have talked about something, you finish that, you tick it. Like, oh, you, you, oh, check it off. Yeah, check it. Well, wouldn't, I think we do that too, though. Wouldn't that oh. be alphabetically, not chronologically? Mm. Well, alphabetical is if it's actually listed based on the alphabet. Mm, and chronological just means... It's a temporal description, so like one so after the other. So what's written first? What's, what's written, written first is first. chronological. Mm, yeah. That makes sense. the difference. Interesting. Good to know. Chronologisch. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about this another I'm point. I'm so smart. <laughs> it can be the same, but it doesn't have to be. It's, that's yeah. true. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that I also do, and I think maybe I've been told this is more a thing where I live, or in the north to northeast, but especially the north, uh, not speaking loud in public. In fact, like if I'm sitting on a bus or something, like if I'm on like the Flix bus or something, or in transportation, mm. I usually make an effort to not make too much noise. Oh, like yeah. even in the grocery stores where I live, there's usually not music playing unless you're like in Real and that's where the music's like maybe louder. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you go to Lidl or Aldi or something and there's not any music playing. Um, and in fact, if you make too much noise, like you laugh too loud, people will give you the stare. They'll look at you like, mm, yep. what are you doing? Or I've actually one time. I was listening to music on uh, Flixbus, so I was going to Hamburg, and I accidentally turned on my, my music before my headphones were plugged in properly. And I think it only played for like half a second, like it was like really fast. I, I, I could not respond faster to trying to turn it off. And immediately the guy next to me turned and just like, like really aggressively whispered, could you turn that down? Like he like, it didn't even <laughs> give me a chance. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the scowl. Yeah, it didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that is like a totally different uh, in other cultures, I think, because, yeah. I mean, when I think of, maybe it's like more Arabian cultures and even African cultures, I think they, like people from those countries, they have a tendency to talk loudly and more openly. Mm -hmm. Uh, compared to Germans usually so well, I think it depends though because I've also been in places like um, I was in uh, Bavaria and on the train there for example the people or the well, usually it's teenagers talk really loudly and they're you know joking around and they're talking and I'm sitting there very like quiet and like looking and then I start looking at them like why are you so loud like I start <laughs> giving them the cold yeah. look <laughs> it's judgment. definitely a thing though yeah. Um, yeah. especially in tra on trains or buses and mm -hmm. subways and stuff like that. I mean subways a little bit less especially on weekends I suppose when party goers are out and about and talk to each other and stuff but uh, definitely during the day people are more quiet on there I think mm -hmm. and de yeah like I said definitely on buses and trains. Yeah. For sure. Indeed. And Check. 
I think the last point was kind of brought up before, but it's more strict, is that I also adhere to bike lane rules. If there's red brick, I will stay on the red brick, and I won't go off the red brick with my bicycle, and if I'm on foot, I go onto the gray brick or the white brick, because it's like color-coded usually. I'm so proud of you, Jess. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I follow the rules, because <laughs> I've also been given enough, I've been scolded enough. I've had enough old men give me trouble because I don't, oh, okay. I, I don't know what they said on the way by, but they got grumpy at me. Okay. <laughs> so. scolded by old men. <laughs> yes, I've been scolded. They will. That's that's actually unique here as well. Is that people, strangers, will scold you for things. <laughs> yes. And I, I'm like, I'm grown. I'm almost thirty, and I still go okay. And I feel like a little kid again. <laughs> <laughs> because it's mostly grandpas and grandmas. It usually is. So and it's like there's that automatic respect for elders. So I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like, okay, so, sir. Okay, yes, thanks. yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll do better next time. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, but anything else any of you can come up with? Uh, habits? Things that have changed mm. since being in Germany. Well, mm. Germany, because now there's one Canadian more in Germany. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Do you know if there's anything else that goes on? Or did you...? Mm, well, probably you've picked up more colloquialisms from Germany and stuff like that, but that's mm. just to be expected when you learn the language. Yes. Uh, yeah. I've actually had people mistake me when I'm speaking German. I've actually been asked on more than one occasion if I come from Hamburg. Yeah, your German is really good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it really is, by the way. Um, not a lie. Hashtag not a lie. <laughs> no. Oh, noise. Not a <laughs> noise. Um, what's Score. Yours? Yeah. And, Score. But I guess that is something that is really difficult for learners of the German language at first because when you get taught German, of course, you get taught like high German standard German and not really colloquialisms which are such a fundamental part of daily German though mm. and I guess that can be a bit of a problem here and there so that is really like expert level. Mm. <laughs> I find it's actually really important if you just want to have a normal social life to be able to follow colloquial speaking because they tell you when you learn German that no one's gonna actually that they say oh yeah, everything's enunciated and this is the proper way to speak and all this stuff and then you come here it's not like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you know the for instance the schwa sound it's called at the end of German mm. terms. Mm. We have that when you say um, er fragte he asked for instance mm. you wouldn't really say er fragte like with a stressed e or mm. like a really verbalized e at the end it's uh, er fragte. I guess unless you're Vienna. Mm. <laughs> Vienna. Vienna. Yeah, Vienna. Yeah. Vienna. Yeah, and sometimes like when <laughs> words end in er, uh, er, der Lehrer, for instance, we usually verbalize it more like an a, like a, mm. der Lehrer, mm. Mm. and not Lehrer. But you know those kinds of things. It's, it's just normal. So you learned German while being here. That's uh, yes. one thing. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much guys for watching. I thank you guys for attending and helping. Mm -hmm. you, you carried the video, I uh, concentrate on driving. That's okay, keep us alive. Yes, yes I'll keep you alive <laughs> and you do the video. Yes. Um, and apart from that, guys out there and girls and people, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get German eyes. Goodbye and auf, auf Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> ah, mess it up. Cut. Wow, that's the cut. Jeez, nice. Jeez, Louise. Jeez Louise.